Welcome to Colorado, an adventure seeker's ideal destination for hiking, biking, and skiing on the beautiful snow-capped mountains. And just a short flight from North Texas and a quick two-hour drive from Colorado Springs, you'll find a hot springs resort at the base of Mount Princeton. We finally made it to our next destination and uh, as you can see, uh, we're not in Texas anymore. We're actually at the bottom of Mount Princeton Hot Springs Resort where we'll be calling this our home for the next couple of days. With over 100 units of lodging, Mount Princeton Hot Springs Resort provides a variety of cozy accommodations, including cabins and luxury suites with spacious rooms, a warm fireplace, spa-inspired bathrooms, plus much, much more. Well, Mount Princeton Hot Springs Resort obviously has hot springs. That's what makes us unique. The water bubbles out of the ground here at about 140 degrees. Down in the creek, the creek water cools the water so you can make your own little pool and, and soak in the natural environment. We have the Spa and Club where we built pools and utilized the hot spring water to, uh, for relaxation and uh, the healthy benefits of the minerals. Okay. For all our guests, we offer uh, fitness classes every day. So you can come in and you can do a water yoga class, no aerobics, or even we put um, aqua bikes in the water and you can do an aqua bike class. How cool is that? There's so much to do in this area. In the summer, this place is known as a whitewater rafting destination. Okay. In the okay. winter, we have snowmobiling, fat biking has been getting very popular, Monarch Mountains right up the road. Okay. So it's a winter wonderland and uh, uh, it's definitely a very unique time to experience the uh, Buena Vista and Salida is during the winter. You know, you did mention Monarch Mountain and Salida. Those are some of the places that we're going to be hitting up here on this trip. So what can we do out there? What are some, maybe some tips, advice for some novice like us? Well, you're going to love Salida, Colorado. It's uh, Colorado's largest historic district, and it's filled with art galleries. It's located right on the Arkansas River, where uh, there's play holes for kayaks in the summer, and we have whitewater festivals there, music in the park, and uh, there's just a lot of history down there. And you can even take a, a walking tour with the local historian. So I'm gonna meet, you, I'm gonna introduce you to uh, to Steve later today. Well, thanks. Yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. Our next stop, Salida, known as the Gem of the Rockies. All right, y'all, so just a short drive from Mount Princeton is this beautiful small town called Salida. It is rooted with rich history and even some ghost stories, but I, I see some shops around here, so how about we make ourselves at home? YOLO! Salida sits along the upper Arkansas River Valley in the middle of Colorado. It's a charming small town with lots to offer. So to give us a tour on downtown Salida, we met up with Steve. Salida actually started out, it was a boom town uh, that was created when the railroad came here. Okay. And the railroad came to help service the mines. So once the original pioneers came in, Salida grew up very quickly. And it kind of transitioned as, as Salida kept growing to dead, uh, what's happening today. Uh, it's a wonderful tourist town. You know, we uh, have the folks come down from Monarch Mountain when they're skiing or in the summer, they're rafting on the Arkansas River, which is Colorado's most commercially rafted river. Oh, nice. Well, when they finish all the fun recreation, they pop into Salida. We've got wonderful uh, family-owned restaurants downtown, uh -huh. bars, uh, art gallery. In fact, Salida was Colorado's first uh, creative district. Awesome. Well, any uh, tips, places that we need to go to while we're out here roaming the streets? Well, absolutely. You've got the art galleries nearby. I think you guys are going to head over to uh, Woods, the uh, distillery, soon. And uh, you can't go wrong with any of the restaurants. They're all really fan uh, fantastic. Well, do you mind showing us the way? Absolutely. All right. Adventure waits behind every corner. Visitors can roam the streets of downtown and find one-of-a-kind boutiques, art galleries, and exceptional dining at the Boathouse Cantina. Once you grabbed a bite to eat, stop into an art gallery, chat with the artists, and watch a live painting right before your eyes. There's artist-owned studio galleries. Um, everyone's doing something unique from furniture to monsters to, you know, fine art like mine, which is kind of impressionistic realism. Okay. 
and some of the others are even doing art of various kinds. You know, the, the monster maker across the street's in there tinkering away. Um, the potter might be in there throwing pots. Everyone's got to work for a living, but you might as well offer a, a foot trafficked uh, studio as well, I think. Right. And I think that is what makes Salida so fun and unique for people to just wander around in, you know? Yeah. Need a warm up from the crisp, cool weather? Woods High Mountain Distillery will do just the trick. Choose from whiskeys or gins or even a specialty cocktail. It's all locally sourced and locally made right here in Salida. Well, and then a little side note, a little birdie told me that not only are you the owner of this distillery, but you're also the mayor of Salida mm -hmm. as well. So yep. what do you love about Salida and why bring Texans out here and explore? So it's a, it's just a really genuine town. We don't really have any uh, kind of chain stores. Everything is like locally owned, you know, they're small, genuine small businesses downtown, um, you know, the art galleries, the distillery, um, the clothing stores, all that, that, you know, you go in there, the owner's standing there behind the counter helping you out. It's really uh, makes for a, uh, for a real genuine experience, I think. And we're super nice folks too. Cheers to the friendly Cheers. folks Cheers. and a successful day one in Salida, Colorado. Now that is refreshing. All right? That's good stuff right there.